Hello everybody, welcome to Elite Wine TV. I am your host, Mark Fusco, and uh, we are, uh, you know, yeah, I'll do this. I was going to do this one to finish off my stuff, but I'm going to do a, a food pairing with that. Anyway, um, so we're doing, two we're doing two episodes today, and uh, so we're going to move on to uh, today's episode. It's going to be the Finca El Origen uh, Reserva Tor Torontes 2008 it's from Argentina. Now this is from the Salta region of Argentina and specifically from the Valle de Cafayate. Now uh, Torontes is the grape varietal, so it's not a brand name, it's not you know anything like that. It's a grape varietal that's been grown in uh, Argentina for an extremely long time. Uh, the thinking is that it came from uh, when the Span when uh, Spain when the Spaniards came in to Argentina and uh, I think it was the Malvasia grape from uh, Europe. They're thinking it's at least related to it. Um, that's the common perception right now. So um, this is a 100% Torontes uh, wine. Decent color. So check it out. Okay, so I'm getting a uh, peach on it. Mostly just peaches, um, citrusy. I mean, in some ways, I kind of feel like I'm smelling the actual fuzz on the outside of the peach. The fuzz. Oh, sorry, that Texas upbringing came in for a second. Let's check it out. This is very pleasant. Now, we've, we've had Torontes before. Um, matter of fact, I should probably tell you exactly which one. We had Torontes before. Um, this is pretty good. I like it. Um, so again, that kind of peach amount. They, they claim on the back, this is all you know filler to get into all the stuff here. Uh, this is, shows hints of peach pit. I don't know what peach pit tastes like. Uh, well, I do. I just haven't tasted one in a long time. Uh, flowers and orange citrus fruit. And uh, yada yada. It says, best served with smoked meats, strong cheeses, and seafood. Now, um, you know, I, I'm getting the peach a lot. Maybe a little bit of citrus. Uh, I'm not sure. I'm, I'm not really getting flowers necessarily. But, uh, you know, definitely it's, uh, it's really good. Yeah, getting that citrusy uh, peach, little peach, um, real easy drinking. I really enjoy it. Uh, I forgot to tell you, you got for nine dollars ninety eight cents at HEB Plus, and I mean it's already been on the little bottom part already, but um, it's a. Uh, I guess we haven't had a Toronto. I thought I had a Toronto. Nah, I'm confusing with something else. Anyway, I'm using just so you know on my iPhone. I've got a little database application called Bento, and the reason I use it is that uh, I can use it on the, on the iPhone and on the computer. None of the other wine apps, while they seem to be pretty good for the iPhone, can translate well to the computer. So anyway, let's, go, let's give it a score. It's pretty good. Give it an 87. You know, it's kind of a favorite score of mine, it seems like. But no, I mean, it's really good. I like it a lot. Um, let's talk about the, the winery in Argentina a little bit. So um, this varietal specifically I got from the website is uh, Torontes uh, Riojano. Now there's uh, that one and then I forgot the other exact name for the other Torontes. There's actually three versions of Torontes and the Riojano is the one that's the most used uh, in Argentina. Um, <clears throat> this is uh, the area Argentina is from is the northwest part of Argentina and this part of Argentina has some of the highest vineyards in the world. Now this particular winery uh, their elevation is around a mile high. So, I mean, we're talking pretty high up there. Most vineyards, you know, are only maybe a, a few hundred to maybe 
12, 1400 feet elevation. So, I mean, they're, they're not really that high, but you know, you have a lot of places, and, and Chile is another one where they have high elevation in the Andes Mountains. But uh, just a little also about uh, Argentina. For it to have the name of the varietal on there, it has to be at least 80% of that varietal. Like I said, this is 100%. Uh, the uh, importer is Carolina Wine Brands USA. So if you Google them, uh, you'll be able to see all the stuff. Uh, when, it, when you actually go to the Finca El Origin website, this wine doesn't show up. But if you go to the um, Carolina Wine Brands, you can find the 2007 tasting notes. So that's where I got some of the stuff. Um, also, Cafiate is 2% of the yearly production that comes out of Argentina. So uh, it doesn't produce a lot, but it's getting a lot of attention. It's one of the hottest areas as far as Argentina with you know, all these outside investors coming in wanting to uh, buy into all this stuff. So it's producing some really good stuff. Um, this is the most planted varietal. They have some of the, the, the usual suspects like Merlot, Cab Sauv, stuff like that in there. So um, I really do recommend it, and uh, it's a good buy. Uh, when I looked at some of the other uh, reviews, it was around 85 to 87, so I'm kind of in the ballpark with some of the, you know, the other people out there are uh, reviewing it as. And um, it's really enjoyable. I like it a lot. What else? Um, guys, you realize we've done this for three months. Yeah, this is uh, August 30th. Tomorrow, September 1st. We started this journey, what, on the 25th, 26th, 27th? Somewhere around there of May. Three months. 56 episodes this is number 56. And uh, it's been a great journey. And we have more to come. Um, so uh, I would really enjoy the fact that uh, you guys come out here or, you know, go to your computer, watch this. Some of you download off iTunes. Remember, you can subscribe to this off iTunes. I don't have very, very many iTunes subscribers. I think out of, I think there's three total and I'm one of them because, you know, it's a way to test the feed. But um, I'm not trying to have you not go to the website because that's the whole point. You need to go to the website. You click ads and blah, blah, blah. But, um, you know, feel free to... You know, subscribe to the iTunes feed. You can watch it like I do on the big screen TV through the Xbox 360. It's a great way to do it. Or you can put it on your iPod, iPhone, MP3 player, whatever. Um, use that type of stuff. Apple TV if you got one. Or just watch it on your computer, however you want to do it. Um, really appreciate it. Make sure you, uh, you're clicking the links up there for uh, if you want to get some of the books I'm using. Sommelier School should be starting up in a couple weeks. And um, that's it. Thanks for stopping in.